Just as logos are being honed and simplified, so too are our card games. But that isn't to say they're not a good old time, just the opposite. Today we'll be looking at three offerings from the Good Game Company, Doodad, Fuzzy Logic, and Chunky Monkey Business. All three are easy to learn but tricky to master, hitting that perfect party game sweet spot. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos. First up, we have Doodad. The object of the game is to earn points by spelling out the word Doodad using the available cards. Players start out with three cards in their hand and three in their pool. Each round you can either play or draw. Playing means placing a card from your hand into your pool. There's no limit to how many cards you can have in your pool, but they need to be face up, meaning your opponents can see what you have. To spell doodad, each adjacent card must either have a matching color or a matching symbol to be played in sequence. You can choose to spell it anytime you wish, but once you do, score one point for mixing adjacent colors and symbols, two points for a flush of color or symbol, and four points for a flush of both color and symbol. The first one to six points wins. Strike cards mix things up by allowing players to steal any card from an opponent's pool, so don't dilly-dally deaf doodads. Next we have Fuzzy Logic. Players split into two teams, X and O. One player from each team is chosen as the clue giver, and the rest are guessers. Cluesters draw one card and both look at it. Each team will have a different word, but the words will be closely related in some way. Now the game starts. The clue masters then take turns giving one word hints to their team, but within earshot of the other. Blustery. I don't know. <laughs> the trick is to give hints that tell your team what your word is without helping the other team discover theirs. Stormy. One more clue. <laughs> Wind. If a guesser from either team thinks they've got the correct word, they can grab the answer cube and give it a guess. Is it a hurricane? Yes! <laughs> if correct, their team wins that card. Also, I have to mention this, but the box actually has felt letters on it. Well played, good game company. Lastly, we have Chunky Monkey Business, who clearly wins the award for best name. We're back to a free-for-all, as each player aims to get three special cards to spell out Chunky, Monkey, Business. You can earn these cards in two ways. First, one player is selected to be the reader, and they draw a card. From the three riddles available, the reader selects one and reads the riddle, but omits the orange connecting word. This word will always connect the two phrases or idioms. Jeremy blank in the fire. If a player has a guess, they grab the monkey in the middle of the table and guess. Iron. Correct. If correct, they win the card. The first player that earns the right cards to spell Chunky Monkey Business wins the game. Which of these games sounds like your cup of tea party? Let us know in the comments. I tried, okay? This trio of diversions from Good Game Company have great pros. They're all quick to pick up and a lot of fun to play. They're all very simple, but with lots of depth. Any of these can be played competitively or casually very easily. Also, side note, great graphic design on these games. Seriously, beautiful boxes. I can't think of any serious cons. They're all excellent games. Overall, I give Doodad, Fuzzy Logic, and Chunky Monkey Business collectively a smashing five out of five stars. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on TikTok at The Toy Authority.